Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, it's me Barry and we had just finished the final battle with the rogue knight and the all source AI in the previous episode and I said I would be collecting all the materials so this is just the day after. Um, we're just waiting on like three more igneous bricks which um, might be done now? No. So we have to just wait for a tiny bit more, we just need one more igneous brick and we will have all the materials needed to for the reconstruction of for the reconstruction of the town. If you're wondering, I said I would do both the school and the gate, which is why there's a really long list of materials here. Um, it says 14 minutes for the next one, so I don't really have much to do. So let's try to let's feed the fish here, I guess. Um, and see how much fish we have. Two, four, six fish. I'm gonna be selling those later on. And we just have to keep staring at this factory. Hope that everything's done. Alright, perfect. Now we just have to go to Albert, which is also perfect because my commerce commission is for Albert as well. Hi, I think Gail is onto something. By upgrading Porsche's infrastructure, we can really jumpstart the surrounding economies as well. Great. Um, See you. Let's go on ahead and give these to Albert. The thing is, I don't know if anything's gonna happen. Let's give it to him. This is very helpful. Thanks. Okay. So Hello. nothing happened. And. Not much more is happening, I guess, in town. Um, you can check the map here, and you can see that there are no cutscenes. Uh, I don't really know what to do at the moment, other than like replenish kind of my materials that I have in the town. So hopefully, in the next installment, like obviously, I'll just cut it up. <laughs> This isn't an episode on its own, <laughs> you guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Civil Corps and um, put up some orders. And then the next time I see you might be the next day or whenever there is something happening. Um, thankfully, the mysterious man still isn't here, so we don't need to do the um, hand over the ring thing. But I am hopefully gonna do it. Um, I do think there's still more story because Ten and Ryder are still here but yeah I'll see you guys through the magic of editing in a bit. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back. For you guys it's been literally nothing for me. It's been several hours and a couple of in-game days in between now and um what was the first part of this video. Um, there's a couple of things that I do want to do today in Portia, but let me just take a look at what this does. Okay, so this one we can put inside our house for plus five attack, and I'm definitely gonna do that because attack is like my lowest house stat. A um, couple of things you want to do today. Um, settling down ends today. Um, I was able to buy the Wedding ring from the mystery man yesterday. Um, I also want to go and check if the town has been repaired. So no, the town still has not been repaired. There is a fireside today, which is why I am, you know, recording this. Aside from the part that we'll be going over settling down with Albert, which I don't know if much will happen really. So let's go ahead and start with this because it's always good to do these things. They're pretty much um, free reputation points for your workshop, so just do them. Sometimes they're easy and honestly sometimes I just give up because I never have magnifying glasses on me. Is it this one? Okay. Alright, um, I it, it's especially hard with things like these where there's just like so much detail going on like there's just like so many things that could be different that 
it's very hard to kind of take a look at where there might be something wrong going on and it always kills me because I always feel like you guys are watching my videos being like Barry it's right in front of you <laughs> but hey you won't find a person as beautiful as me in Portia. um so a couple of things that I learned if you watched my previous episode um I'm not sure what to title it yet but I did miss a side quest that won't be coming back, sadly. So there is that. Um, and number two, I took a look at the list of main missions, and there's still a lot more. She prefers the wedding ring. Got ya. Here's the rewards. This will be perfect. Tell Sonia to meet me at the harbor. Great, so at least we have something to do while we're waiting for the fireside at 7 p.m. Otherwise, it'd be like... Just me cutting things out once again. <laughs> Amazingly, Sonia is just right here where she usually is. Hi! Sonia, Albert wants to meet you at the harbor. Ooh. Ooh any special reason for is that? a surprise. Albert always has the best surprises. I'll go down there now. Alright, so I'm not sure. Oh, I think we have to go there as well. Right? Um the thing is, I kind of want to stop by the church store because I can't remember if fertilizer flooring comes through here. Um, the main reason why I don't want to put in fertilizer flooring just yet is because I don't have the maximum space of my workshop yet, and so there's still going there's going to be a lot of moving around still. But I just wanted to make sure that this is where it is. Okay, so you're gonna we're gonna need one of these and one of these and some of these as well. Um So is fifty just fifty. I don't really mind buying it right now. <laughs> like just might as well. We'll buy five of that. Just for now. I don't know um whatever. So I'm just gonna keep it on hand for now, but I'm not going to use it yet. <laughs> Which seems like a waste, but you guys, um, carry- I guess carrying the planters aren't bad if they're empty. So the small planters, not horrible, but the big ones, because you don't really want to root them out. Um, very annoying, because you have to carry them one by one. Okay, anyway, let's go on over to the harbor and watch Albert's proposal, I guess. I don't know, that's weird. Kinda is. Oh, there they are. Um, I'm gonna tell my horse to stay because I don't like it when they just kinda like walk around everywhere. But I really enjoy. Ooh, kiss. I love her boots. I want those boots for myself. So that was the scene. What? Hi. Spring is a wonderful season. And he's. See you. So that's pretty much it. And there is basically nothing else for me to do until time passes. But I do want to test out the Rogue Knight's sword, and the best way to do that is by going to Angle's Mine because I haven't really finished it. And we will today, or at least go through one level, um, which should be enough time for us. Um, once again, being very lazy. I mean... You know what? I I really like need to get everything here organized. But it's just such a chore, you guys. It's it's very tedious and kind of boring to do. So I'm just going to put everything down for now, really. <laughs> um sort that. Um these ones I don't need. I probably don't need the Nova Sword anymore. I'll keep the Warhammer in case I want it to use it. But yeah, let's head on over to Ingle's Mine. 
Um, which is here. Here. And we'll see what we can do. Um, let's go down, 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 down. Ooh, I thought there was someone there, but... I just really wanted to test my brand new sword. It's the Rogue Knight sword, and perfectly enough, we have this one, which gives us just about the right amount of time to get back to town for the fireside. Yep, it's great. It's perfect. Perfect. Spooky guy. I feel like this sword has different animations than d the other sword. It's a bit more like, um... How do I put it? Like, fancy. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it, I guess. Is he stuck? Yeah, like, I don't think that jump part bit was in the different swords before. Uh, I don't think it feels as nice as other swords. Um, there's a reason why we can climb this. So I'm gonna assume that there's something up at top, at the top. Otherwise, why I did this, I don't know. Jeez. Okay. Um. What the hell? Okay. Oh, this is the exit! Well, I wish someone told me that before I climbed it. Because I thought it was just like a, an area for a chest, so let's just climb, go down and kill the rest of the things. I think that's where I came from. Just have to kill these last few guys here. Yeah, this, this sword does a lot of damage. Um, so one, two, wait, one, so I only press one and all of that happened. So it's only really two presses for that? I'm not sure. Uh, I got, I have a lot of advanced engines, um, which is great because we're going to have to, um, try to complete the um the museum soon um i just need to get organized um i'm horrible at climbing these things if you couldn't already tell um okay we're almost there, you guys. I'm sorry that you had to watch this twice. <laughs> uh, okay. Door has been opened. We have two more floors to go. Alright, more of these creepy zombie boys. It's the, um, the fire guy that does a lot of damage. Um, that said, am I concerned? Not really. <laughs> Why? Because, um... I have a lot of, um, bandages. <laughs> Alright, let's keep running through here. And I'm assuming this is a boss map, or a boss level, so let's see what we have to kill. 
Oh. What what are you? Chief Honcho is his name. It's fast. So, with a sword, um, oh, wrong item, shoot. How many do I have? 27 left. I used a lot for, um, the fights. Yeah, with a sword, it's a bit risky. Because, um, you can't, like, cancel... So I was doing that because I was, like, testing things as well. But you can't cancel your, um... See that? When you're in the middle of the animation, I don't think you can cancel it. So it... becomes kind of really difficult. Chief Honcho, your Making it really hard for me. You're using up all of my freaking things. Well, I got the gist of how to beat him. Um, just my only issue with it is that you can't cancel the animation for it, and it seems to do more damage towards the end of the fight. See, look at this. When you do this, you can't dodge roll, whereas because like this one, that's only one hit. You can immediately. You can even cancel it. So, but with this one, you can't dodge while um, you are. See, and that makes it kind of difficult to use, I guess. So let's exit the ruins, and I think now we can just go on over. Um, put our stuff in the thing, in our chests, and uh, just go on over to the fireside and see what updates the mayor has in store for us, because it's gonna be interesting, pretty much, I think. Yeah. Um, based on like how many story missions I was able to see on the wiki, I think we still have kind of like a solid 20 to 30 episodes to go for this Let's Play, but fear not because I do have other things planned as well. Um, that's not what I want to do. Let's go material storage, sort, sort all, yes. And let's go on over. The fireside should be starting right about now. Five seconds. Alright, let's go. Welcome everyone to this fireside. I'll share as much as I can and try to answer any questions that you may have. Alright. Let's see where to begin. You see, there was all What's it, the music? There was this very powerful AI called All Source in the ruins around Portia, and that it could control other AIs. It turned out to be true, all of it. Am I having? Is, do, do I have anything else playing? This all source. It was stolen from what? This research center, but later in the world? Returned. The thief turned out to be an unknown knight. Yes. With this information, Molly took the location marker and headed for Atara. Her plane was shot down over the Ufala Desert in an ambush by the Sky Shark Pirates. Oh, the music Buckle, finally ended. Although wounded and left to die, Molly survived. survived. Great. The pirates 
led by second captain Ms. Everglade, took the location marker for Molly's crashed plane and came here, masquerading as council guards from Atara. They had a mole working the telegrams to back up their legitimacy. Mm -hmm. Although we were cautious and had our suspicions, the pirates hid their disguise well. They were about to take the all-source unit from right under our noses when Molly contacted us from Atara. She had finally returned and launched an investigation that captured their mole. Yes. With her information in hand, our civil corps and some brave citizens confronted the pirates and the knight in a final battle and came out victorious. Everyone cheers. Um, I'm not sure that that's supposed to be there. <laughs> but... <laughs> Oh, there it is. <laughs> the Africa pirates captured here in Portia, but unfortunately, their leader and the knight are still at large. Through interrogations of the mole in Atara, we found out that they're working for the Duvos. I still Empire. would love my time at Duvos, really. I knew it. Always Duvos. Mm -hmm. What will the Alliance do? So far, the Duvos Empire has denied their involvement. But due to their brazen act in our territory, the Alliance has thrown out their emissary and has also decided to back up Athea in their standoff with Duvos. This sounds serious. Yes. Will it come to war? It is serious, but I don't think it'll come to blows. I'm hopeful. Okay. What of all sorts? Isn't it dangerous? Mm-hmm. We haven't made a decision on all source yet. The final decision on what to do with it will rest on us since it's found in our territory. If it's truly dangerous to humanity, we might have to destroy it. All right. How do we know that Duvos won't be sending more knights out of this AI, like right now? Mm. Good question. Um, the uh, Alliance Council will be sending a few investigators our way in a few days' time. And I don't think Duvos wants their relationship with the Alliance to deteriorate any further. So I'm cautiously optimistic that there will be no further incidents. But the civil court This is written right. during the time of uh, the pandemic. Cautiously optimistic is something that Dr. Fauci uses a lot. <laughs> We've been doing an assessment of the damages done to our town. A&G will be fixing these yes. up over the next season, including the school. We've already given everything to Albert, so we'll see. We'll come out of this stronger and more united than ever. We'll show Duvos we're not someone that they can just walk over. Clap, 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 clap. Before we go, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank and Higgins for the Jeez, it's blank to think blank and Higgins. Without their help, we might not have come out of yeah. this There's just like Thank so you. many things that escaped quality control in this game. Like earlier from everyone cheers to just we'd like to thank and Higgins. Like I, I get it, it's very hard to kind of create a script where our, the main character uh is ne uh is named by the player, but it happens a lot. In games like Persona, you get to decide your name, and there is voice acting there as far as I know. And even in the script, they just really take a lot of care to not have these lines voiced or to just like find a way to like to, to t uh, like they could have said to thank our builders instead of to thank Blank and Higgins, right? Oh, shucks. All right, that's all for this evening. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to find me. You know where I work. Very true, Very small true. town. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I was like, is everyone just staying here? <laughs> no one's moving? <laughs> so... I guess that's gonna hey, be it for now, for this episode. Strong as me. Mars? Come on, he's not even kind of interesting, right, that um, the previous episode was 50-ish, um, almost an hour long, and 
I don't know how long this one will be, but it's probably is just like half at most. So thanks so much for hanging out with me, you guys, and keeping on watching my videos. Um, happy holidays, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!